Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another traditional origami. Today we're going to make a traditional origami parakeet. For this origami, you just need one sheet of origami paper. I'm using a standard size of 15 by 15 centimeters. Uh, what we're going to do here is start off with our color side facing down and I'm just going to go ahead and fold my paper in half. and open it up and fold the top corner down towards the center here. Make a good crease and do the same thing on the other side too. Then after I folded both of those sides over, I can take the side and fold it into the middle. Try to line everything up there, make a nice smooth crease. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side too. So I wind up with something that looks like this. So we've got both of the sides folded towards the center. Then what I wanna do is take everything and kind of fold it in half, folding the edges out to the outside, making a nice crease where the center is already. And I should have something then that kind of looks like this. Now, if I go ahead and look at the bottom section down here, I'm just going to kind of take things and there's actually a point here where you could see this part comes down. That's as far as I want to actually fold things over and create a nice 90 degree angle here. So I'm just gonna fold that straight over. It should kind of be flush with this under edge here that you see. So I've got that folded over, make a nice little crease and it should make a nice little 90 degree angle right here. Open it up. And then we're just going to reverse this by opening it up and pushing in. The back side's already going the right way. Get that guy to become on the top and fold it down. So we get a nice smooth edge here and our little right angle at the top. Then what I wanna do is take the side that you see here and I'm going to actually uh, fold it in half to make it more of a point so if I just take this part and fold it over in half, make a good crease right here, open it up, and then again, I'm just going to push, do a squash on uh, folding this in, reversing it inside, so that I can get a nice tip to everything here. I get something that looks like this. Now I want to go ahead and take this top part up here and create uh, another fold. If I kind of look at it sideways, you can tell this is sort of the tail feathers hanging down. And so the top part up here is going to be the head. And I'm just going to take and kind of open things up here so that I can choose a section to push down on, taking this mountain crease and reversing it into a valley. So if I kind of push it in, I can get it to dip and then I can pinch on it from underneath and I can find a good angle here then that I like. You can kind of choose, you know, how much you want his head down and up, how big a beak you want, all sorts of different points of preference there. I kind of like if the head kind of lines up with the tail a little bit, that's a good mark to kind of know if you're going far enough, but I, I'm gonna keep his beak kind of close to home here. Don't want it to stick out too much. Make a good crease, and that kind of gives you the finished little parakeet and that is our finished project for today i'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come thanks again always so much for watching and i'll see you all next time